Hey guys, I'm back with another featuring video, and today I'm gonna featuring Dream Chaser again. Here we go. All right, here we go. Have you ever noticed that the Thailand cars are glossier than the China cars? What I mean is, is that the finish on the Thailand cars are glossier than the ones on the China cars. I mean, look at him. See that, all that extra gloss right here? But with the China one, it's kind of hard to tell with my camera, but what I'm saying is, is that the, the Thailand cars have a glossier finish than the China cars. Also, what I do notice is that the, the China cars, their paint tends to chip more than the Thailand cars. I think it's because that the China cars are cheap, meaning they haven't been really made thoroughly or they haven't been produced thoroughly. But the Thailand cars tend to be a little sturdier. I mean, the finish on the Thailand cars tend to be sturdy enough to avoid chipping in the first place. No guarantee, but I think the, the Thailand cars have a better finish than the China cars. One thing I am disappointed with about China cars is that they have plastic inserts like the mouth plates and the, the eyes, the mouth, and even the windows are all plastic inserts. But with the Thailand cars, I think I like them better is because their, their mouth plates, their eyes, and their windows are fully metal. The windows are all painted in. They are not plastic inserts. But the con side to the Thailand cars is that, that the little small details tend to be grainier and also maybe too thick. What do you guys think? Which cars do you prefer more? China cars or Thailand cars? I think I prefer Thailand, but there's a part of me that do miss the days when they were made in China. But still, I think Thailand's probably for the better. So, take a look here. Yeah, you can definitely tell, if you look closely, you can definitely tell there's some grainier details on the, th on the Thailand cars, but on the China ones, you can see them a little more clear. And another thing about China cars is that their production date stamps are different. Like, 1401 EAA. I don't know what that means. It's hard to interpret. Hard for me to interpret Chinese production date stamps. But I am familiar with the Thailand ones. The one that says M44A, you can easily identify the production date, which was the 44th week of 2019 in the A factory. So, yeah, that is pretty much all I'm going to say in this video, so, so which cars do you prefer, China cars or Thailand cars? Let me know in the comments. Alright, thanks for watching, have a great day, bye. So thanks for watching and goodbye.